Sometimes you need to know the cross-sectional area of a piece of wire. For example, if you're going to investigate its Young's modulus or maybe the resistivity of that material. Now we can't measure the area directly, but what we can do is measure the diameter. If you know the diameter, we can then use the formula A equals pi d squared over 4 to work out the area. So here I just have a digital scale. Uh, what I'm going to do is just pull this back. I'm going to very gently put it across that piece of wire. And I've got a value there of 1.01 .01 of a millimetre. Now I've had to be gentle because what I don't want to be doing is crushing the soft copper. But it's not enough to just measure that in one location. We don't know that that's actually circular in cross-section. So you need to make sure that you measure the diameter in at least three different directions. And it's often useful to do that along a length of wire so you know it's the same thickness throughout. Now, depending on the equipment that you have, uh, you might have uh, a vernier scale like this, which is a little bit more tricky to read than the digital one that we have over there. Sometimes you might also have uh, what's called a screw gauge micrometer. And again, we have this kind of vernier scale at the top that allows us to work out distances which are less than one millimeter. So both of these could measure to maybe 0.01, or in this case, 0.1 of a millimeter. Again, that's a skill that you need to develop as you're going through A-level physics.